The data connections in EFAPATH must be converted to UDCX files and be stored on the site. Create a data connection library and upload your files there or save the files from InfoPath in here. The library must be open for all users with read access and also make sure the files are checked in and approved. Open your form in InfoPath Designer and click on the data tab and data connections. Click on add and we will now add the connection to the user profile service. So just click on receive data and SOAP web service. And here you have to type in the URL to your site's user profile service. Scroll down and choose get user profile by name. And just click on next to embed the connection into your form. Click on finish. Now we have to convert this connection to a UDCX file so that we can change the authentication model. Uh, so just save the UDCX on your uh, data connection library, the one that we just created. Open Central Administration on the SharePoint server. Go to the secure store in your service applications. Create a new and name it something with InfoPath apps, secure apps, or something like that. And fill in all the information. Be sure you choose group ticket, otherwise this app will, will not respond correctly. Uh, just save this information as it is, and assign the correct permissions. Now we need to update the UDCX file with the correct authentication model. So open the file and change the tag authentication. Remove everything that's commented out and type in the name of the secure store app that you just created with the correct name in the app ID and change the credential type to NTLM. Open your form in InfoPath Designer and click on the form load button. Click on new, action, and set the condition to the field you want to set the AD value in to be blank. Because we only want to run this rule when the form is created. Because we don't want to get this value overwritten each time the form loads. So set the condition to created by is blank. Then add a new action. Set the field's value and select the secondary data source. Be sure that you click on the query fields part and then select account name because we will set that with the InfoPath function username. And this is just a temporary variable that we set. So click on insert function, select the username, press OK all the way back. And then go up and click add again. And now we're gonna query the secondary data connection again. And now finally we can start setting the fields. So select the created by field and then hit the FX button, click on insert field or group and select your secondary data source. Be sure to select the data fields now and go all the way down to the value and click on filter data we're going to filter on name and set that one to be equal to the AD attribute that we want to get, in this case the preferred name, since we want to set the created by with the person's uh, name. And press OK all the way out there. And we're going to add one more. So you click on add again. And set the field value. And now we're going to set the mail address, so scroll down to user mail, if you have a field like that. And click on the FX button, insert field or group, select your secondary data source, make sure to open the data fields. Click down all the way to value, 
and don't forget the filter data button and add and in this case we want to set the name to be equal to work email When the form is loaded now, you can see that the created by is filled in with my name and the mail address in your mail is also filled in automatically and picked up from the AD.